Hey guys, Sunstreaker Wazza here, and today's video is a war video, but this war video is a bit different than the norm. And the reason it's a bit different than the norm is, it is a TF Civil War. Now, that's not all. We've got another twist on it. So, not only is it a civil war, but you're probably looking and thinking, TF Cybertron Lord, TF Legends Ops. I've never really heard of these guys, to be honest with you. What we've done is, we've done a mashup between TF PsyOps and TF Cybertron Ops. 50 50, split down the middle, just to make it look like a bit more interesting. We've made it so it's no combiners used in the war. So, just to make it that bit harder. So, it's a bit interesting, really, because we've got a good mix of. You know, really top level players and then sort of, you know, high level players as well, but not quite top top. And it's a good mix of, you know, different attack strategies and different strength of bots. And I thought it'd be a really good video to show you guys and um, just give a few shout outs to guys that I can't normally give shout outs to because I'm out to in cyber ops, things like that. But yeah, it's been a really fun war, been some good banter. Uh, there's been some great feedback from the Psyops guys, so a big shout out to those. Uh, for helping us with our base design and bots and attacks and things like that. Uh, it's been a good test really uh, of your bots and the way you attack things. Like I said, because no combined, you've got to think outside the box a bit. So uh, yeah, lots of different styles of techniques, lots of different attacks. Um, Learned a few things in this war that I didn't know. You know, little things like that, just little things that you see people doing. And you're like, you know what, I like that. And that's the reason I thought I'd do the video and show a few of these attacks and show it to you guys what has sort of happened in this war and how we've smashed these bases. So, base one, we have liquid swords. And I'm going to show my main man, Spar 78's attack. Now, me and Spar go long way back, a long, long, long way back, back to the uh, TF Legends game. Uh, he's the head of TF, a uh, really good guy, and got some beastly bots. Liquid Swords base, a decent layout, typical sort of 50-50 split sort of time trap. So Spar starts off with a Sabre Swipe. And that sort of weakens defences, weakens the walls. See there, he's got some decent five stars as well. Traditional sort of walk with some high DPS in there with Elite to One and Grim and a couple of Gunners and Oxus Prime. No pure tanks in there, so, so to speak. And that's to get through those walls and draw sort of mince up those defences and structures and most people do this attack pop the outposts but Spar has literally just took them head on as I said no combiners this war and there we go there pops Lugnut there pops Defosaurus and like I said these are some hefty bots you know, they're coming out of these outposts. So don't think that, you know, this is easy, guys. You've got to have some really good bots to, uh, to smash this out the park. And you can see there, it's going to sort of cross over, lead to one side, save with the other. And the rest of the bots are walking up. And you can see there, it's just made mincemeat of those defences. Especially with that Liege Maximo car. Using those bots to smash their own defences. That the age lasting ages. Level 15, 12 seconds. That's ridiculous. And then it's just a case of finishing off the HQ. Nice attack. Beastly bots. Loving that Sabre, loving that Elite 1. Absolutely smashed. And like I said, these aren't bad designs, even don't think, you know, 
is a bad design for one minute. But when you've got this sort of level of bots, then it's, you know, it's still crazy. So, attack number two. I thought I'd be selfish and show my own attack. And base two this war is Jed. And same again. Every base is a beastly base. Every base has beastly bots. But what I've got, what I showed this guys is, you know, Space Hip have uh, nerfed the white creams, so it makes you know, snipes a lot harder. <clears throat> they brought in air cores to make you know using jets to hit the HQ even harder. So you've got to think outside the box a bit. You've got to, you've got to evolve as such, and so. I've done a bit of a sludge hit there on the wall to make mince meat of them. Get through. I dropped prowl to one side there just to path those bats through. I didn't want them sort of walking through the walls yet. And I see he got stuck at a wall. I was a bit disappointed there. I was a bit worried for a minute. I just did a backflip. Second. Got out of trouble. And there we go. Now she can do a job. Popping the outpost. You can see there. She's only 898. You know, she's only level 40. I think it's 45. Ability 5. But that's enough. It doesn't matter. It's job done. Took out most defences first before I popped the outpost. Just so there's no defences hitting me. And that leaves all my bots just to take out these beastly outpost bots. And this attack, I am calling, before anyone starts criticising, I'm calling it Ground Assault. Because basically, it's similar to an Air Assault with all the jets, but you're just using ground bots. That's the only difference. So first of all, you start with hitting links on the HQ. Nothing different there. Sabre on the HQ. You've got Ultra Magnus hitting the HQ. All these bots smashing that HQ. So it's similar to a Russian smash in the sense that you just get every single bot you can smashing against that HQ. So what I tend to do with that attack guys when I do it, I did this pretty much every single base within reason, give or take, is adaptive shielding. You really struggle against adaptive shielding doing this. So that's a good way to defend against it. But if you don't have adaptive shielding, then take a lot of one shot bots. So people saying that one shot bots will be dead from come HQ17. They're saying they're pretty much dead already. No, they're not, honestly. You take Ultra Magnus with you. His path is not great, but we can get him up there. Take Ultra Magnus with you. Take Prowl with you. Take Alpha Bravo with you. Take Lynx with you. Take Drift with you if you want. Whatever sort of one shot or rush bots you've got, take them with you. Walk through and just smash that headquarters, guys. It still can be done. Without them white creme zeeks, as long as they haven't got adaptive shielding on, it can still be done. You've just got to evolve. You've got to think outside the box a bit. So base three. We've got my man Darth Beta against Ghost Deck. Now, I've been saying in my videos, using sludge, don't need to one-shot at all. This guy, this guy sludge, does one-shot and just makes mincemeat of this base. Five-star sludge is beastly. You know, people are saying disappointed with pulling this, but after watching this, if you're disappointed with five-star sludge, then, pff, wow. <laughs> Wow, smashed open again. Bang, look at that. There's nothing left. There is literally nothing left. I'll be honest with you, I'm not even sure why he took two healers. He'd probably be able to do his attack without a healer. Because he has just smashed it out of the park there. And that just makes that walk so much easier. Just two sludge hit, he eradicates the walls. Granted. He's got 3,300 total power, so he's leveled the hell out of him. But still, 
that's some immense work to get him up there. Then he's using lengths as it's supposed to be used. Like I said, no trickery there, just smashing those defences with links. And then just got to walk through. Using his cindery there. Smashing it, finishing it off with jars, and then it's just a case of just walking up. Not a single bot lost there. Even the hat course helping them smash the HQ. And it just makes it look so easy. And I still think that four high four star or five star slush would be the key to HQ17. I really do. I really think that well, come HQ17, everyone want a sludge. With those high level walls, with a high HP, everyone will want a sludge. And base four. Base four was my man Bald Eagle. I don't want to give him a shout out, <laughs> but I will. We have some good banter between us in the chats and that. He's a good guy. And here we're watching my man Atari's attack. He's got some beastly bots. As always, Psyops guy, standard. But the thing I like about Atari, what other people don't really use, is he uses his swoop a lot. And he's said this all the time that, you know, people have said, like, you know, swoop isn't viable at HQ 16 that much anymore. Well, this guy just proves it wrong. Always basically using him, therefore, it's okay, yeah, he's weak in defences, but it's just sort of pathing the box outside the walls. You don't need Sabre to weaken them walls, you don't need Sludge to weaken them walls, because you've got Swoop just taking those defences out of the walls. You can see there, just pathing them outwards, doing damage to the defences so they get through quicker, and that's two runs with Swoop. And it gets closer. And then a third run with swoop. I'm not sure he actually needed that with two gunners, but hey, who am I to argue? <laughs> Beastly bots popping out the outposts. And then he unleashes Sabre, smashing one side, using Bravo to one shot on the other side. That my Cronus cord doing its business there. And now it's just literally just smashing all the outpost spots. And just cutting through those defenses like butter with not a single bot lost. I love that swoop action. People have said, you know, that a five star swoop may be overpowered. I'm, I'm not sure it will. You know, not a lot of people use swoop for high level attacks like that, other than obviously Atari. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's a really good bot. It's not as. Powerful or overpowered as he used to be, but I'd, I'd love a five star swoop personally. I've got a five star scourge on the China account, and uh, I would love it personally. And base five, we have my man, my fellow Brit, unchained. And yes, I am a Brit, I am not from Australia, as many people think. And uh, no link to this, we have my man Kiwi Mox. With a good walk and snipe, just showing that, you know, adaptive shielding does make a huge difference now that the white creams are there. The white creams sort of eliminated that. And adaptive shielding makes a huge difference and air cores make a huge difference. If this base had air defences and had adaptive shielding, I don't think this could have been pulled off. But the fact that it hasn't has left him open to this. And I like that a bit. I like the fact that, you know, base design gives you options to defend against certain attacks. 
But I did like Unchained's set out at the bottom here, and I've actually stolen this off him and sort of changed it into my base. I had a different layout up top, with reasons for that. I won't give it away, a bit of a secret. <laughs> but uh, I did like this bottom section here. It smashed two of my box with air, uh, and I was quite lucky uh, to do a link snipe. Because I literally had two bots left by the time I got to those outposts. Luckily enough, it was two tanks. All the walls were, uh, all the gunners that took out all the defences inside the walls. And luckily enough, it was enough time to send my links in. And I just copied, exactly copied this attack basically. Like I said, more of my bots died, but literally just sending links in. And just a simple HQ snipe. And like I said, there would have been air cores, anti-air cores on these turrets around here, then those jack, that jack would have been eliminated. But, HQ down. Unchain, my friend. Your base has just been smashed. <laughs> So like I said, you can probably tell from the video that we've had some good banter uh, back and forth. Uh, it's been real fun. Uh, I suggest if uh, any of you guys have got some families out there to try it out, it's, it's really good fun. Like I said, good feedback for both years. Um, and yeah, I just really enjoyed it to be honest with you. And I think we're going to do some more. So I will uh, be showing them as well next time round. Showing some more beastly parts, showing some more beastly attacks. So watch out for that. If you like the video guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Uh, any questions or anything, stick it in the chat. I'll get back to you. And uh, trying to get to a thousand subs. Not far off. Just about 200 short. So I'm sure we can get there. That's the aim for 2019. And just uh, thanks for watching guys. And peace out.